Hi guys, I'm Exit Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Tropico 6. In this episode, we will finally, we will be declaring uh, independence. All we need to do is get this food happiness up. And I believe we've put a fair bit of infrastructure in place to make that happen. So I think that will actually grow and we've actually done an edict here, food for the people. Citizens consume two, uh, two uh, units of food when eating. So I think that it should be fine. Is there any other research that we need to do? At the moment there is research that's underway. A raid complete a rescue. So I'm just kind of tempted to understand how much we got from that. Is it like on the next ship they arrive or what's going on? Uh, what else can we get? Heist the Stonehenge. Oh, well, there we go. We're going to go and get Stonehenge. Let's see what we do if we get Stonehenge. So this freighter that's arriving here should bring our new people. So it should be packed with stuff. Uh, anyway, there it is. What's coming out of there? Only one. Build another tannery. I don't think we have enough. Um, I don't. This tannery, as it stands, is constantly getting. It's not. It's not creating enough leather as it is. I mean, it's not getting enough hides. But okay. So as if we want to do that, I would imagine that we would also want to do. I. We obviously don't have to do it, but um, a cattle ranch. So we could squeeze in a cattle ranch like over here somewhere. Yeah, this stretch over here. Let's quickly have a look at the overlays. Let's, um, well, actually, it seems like we're gonna, gonna win, gonna do this thing now. Okay, so pollution overlay. So we are seeing a bit of pollution. Electricity, nothing. Crime, safety, liberty popping up anywhere. Not really. Fun coverage, yeah, looks pretty good. Faith coverage, pretty good. Healthcare coverage is poor. We don't have any healthcare buildings. Food coverage is... No one is uh, is not getting their food. I can tell you that much. Fun quality. Faith quality is pretty low. Um, healthcare quality, food quality. Yeah, the food quality for these guys, they're... Military strength is situated around the palace and the fort. Yeah, so our military strength is definitely in the right spot. The residential occupancy and workforce occupancy. So it's not actually, what is the, ah, what I'm looking for actually is the um, livestock conditions. Crop conditions. And then the resources. Are there anything over here? So there's no mining there. Um, but we could do plantation. So what we'll do is we... Oh. Perfect. We'll do that. Um, can we wait till we get that corn and get that extra, extra bit of stuff? No, we can't. <laughs> uh, that's interesting yes that sounds good and while it is only fair that the crown receives all our exports as we are their colony perhaps it would make a change if we weren't governed with an iron fist i can't help but notice that the will of the people is leaning in shall we say a more independent direction okay so i think we've already achieved that got a new task declare independence and prepare for war or spend the money I'm almost tempted to just spend the money this is complete Should we? Should we? Should we not? We need to do this. We need to proclaim independence to win the game. Which is something that's 
that's good. Um, I'll have actually grab the extra cash shortly. Not going to build a tannery. I wanted to go with the extra ranch, but I think that's fine. Excellent. There comes... Shall we prepare for war instead? Let's do it. Let's proclaim independence and uh, declare and prepare for war. It okay, well, with that in mind, maybe what we should do is actually build a couple more, uh, just a couple more guard towers. We've got the fort. Um, what I'm tempted to do is actually place uh, one guard tower over here and maybe one more guard tower mm, somewhere where it's sensible we've actually got a pretty good coverage of guard towers so maybe just the one is okay uh, the other places actually don't have guard towers so maybe this is the spot for us <clears throat> if we want to continue to to do some stuff over there do a guard tower on this side and we'll do a guard tower over here as well yeah I think that's a good idea right there perfect and what we'll do is we'll just quick build all of them quick build these two that's out of the way <clears throat> hopefully we'll get a few a few guys. Crown declares embargo on Tropico. Interesting. So does that mean they're squeezing our, our, our funds? Doesn't seem to be the case. This is being built. So anyway, I think that means that we've got a pretty substantial military, including the fort over here. What do we have? Defensive. The building provides a squad to defend against attackers. Man the ramparts. The building does not provide a squad. Soldiers stay within it to defend it against attackers. Offensive. Okay, anyway, we're not doing offensive. Uh, but I think what we'll do is we'll stay with it as being um, defensive. Okay, so we've done that. Maybe we should start looking at... Um, child allowances maybe that could be something that we would use could we do the research now we're actually trying to steal Stonehenge um, we've got the Stonehenge heist going on okay let's uh, speed things up a little bit I would like to see us oh but we're preparing for war so that's fine what I also would like us to do is build um, a couple more houses though Yeah, let's do a few more through here. Maybe a couple over there as well. And then we can have some room to fill in with some niceties as well. I don't want to spend too much more money. The construction industry is doing its thing. I need to make sure that there's a fair bit going on. Could actually do with an extra little bunkhouse over here as well. There's an edict we can use. Shall I? Yeah, let's build a little bit of road in here. Let's have a quick look. We'll build a bit of road. We'll give it to... Oh, it's not going to grab two, actually. Yeah, that's a thing. Should we build the houses down here? Let's build a few houses down here instead couple of these bunk houses doesn't actually squeeze in that well don't know don't know I don't want to close off all my options here by building rows of bunk houses but maybe around the mission here is probably a good idea. Let us let's build one over there at least. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so we're heading towards this um, this declaration of war pretty quickly, or preparing for war pretty quickly. But I am happy that we've got a fair bit of um, um, kind of soldiers all around town. 
ready to defend us. What are you waiting for? You have coconuts. We're needing people and things like that. Probably could do with another bunkhouse over here. Build a tavern. Maybe we'll build a tavern over here. We'll do that. Let's grab ourselves a tavern. There you go. There goes the tavern next to the mines. Feel sensible. Yeah, we've got extra bunk houses. Let's have a quick look. People are not homeless, so there are plenty of homes available. There are like no no people living in these uh, in these mansions. Come on, war. Got like three years left on the mandate. I'm not sure. I think that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Keep going. Shall we speed things up a little bit? Are we still getting some stuff? Can we, with the crown embargo, can we actually, we still have that one going, do we? We still have this one going. All seems fine, actually. Is there no trade coming in? Is that what the case is? The next freighter coming in. No, here comes the, here, come, here it comes. I don't know what it means to have the... We're going to grab some cash at the moment. We need the cash. We do not want to run out of money. Hopefully this guy is going to bring in a fair bit of money. Yeah, but it is not... It's not looking... It's not as pretty as it used to be. But I believe we'll survive. We'll survive. Ah, what, oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gonna drop the edict now for that one advanced boat services ships and cargo ships are 10 percent faster yeah we'll keep we'll leave the boat services up and running but yeah we need we need money we need to yeah so the next freighter there's a lot of stuff that the next freighter can pick up rum planks leather coconuts Here it comes. Wow, there's even gold nut. This one. Sh Excellent. That's a fair bit of money. Let's have a look at what's going on in the raid screen. I don't know if the heist of Stonehenge is something we can do, but do the rescue one. Let's just do a rescue any mission. Yeah, let's just do that. Forget about Stonehenge. Child allowances is done. Shall we do the free housing one? We'll just make sure we keep researching and spending our points. We've got a good, uh, good sm uh, s uh, kind of s uh, layout of the uh, guard towers everywhere. I think. Okay, we're going to have war very soon now. And our funds are okay. Tropico is uh, attacked by the crown. Let's uh, slow things down and we'll see what's going on. This is a squad, right? Where is the crown's forces though? Oh, here they come. Interesting. Infantry, the crown. Four! My goodness, their target is which bunkhouse exactly? Just concluded uh, this. Can we know which, which bunkhouse? Where exactly? Let's quickly... Oh, the embargo means that a lot of stuff is now... So shall we... What can we do? Hides? We don't want to do hides. Leather? Oh, it's only imports. We can't export. Hmm. 
Well, then we'll leave it be. Is the bunkhouse over here? Are they going to attack this side? Yep, it does seem that way. So where's our squad? Okay, so they are heading to the bunkhouse though. Luckily, I've got the little tower up here. I was wondering that these guys were probably going to do it. The guard tower, since the bunkhouse is behind the guard tower, I believe we should... Oh, there's another attack coming in from the crown. Where exactly? Will you actually engage these guys? Oh, two squads. Oh, they're going for the guard tower. Will the guard tower fight back? I thought the guard tower would actually fight back. Where are my soldiers? Okay, so where's my... Come on, buddies. This isn't good. Oh, here comes my forces. Are these the, the guard tower? Does it not fight back? Honestly. It's a massive fort. There's a handful of people there. Come on, guys. The guard tower should be able to hold its own for a little bit. That's like four people. Do I have another squad coming? How many squads do I have? Oh, there's the other one coming. Is the crown beating me? Uh, seems like we'll beat them off here, but this one is a bit of a problem. Seems like we'll beat them. Yeah, we're uh, we're taking them down pretty quickly now. Um, the other one, we're still a full squad over here. That is um, sorting this thing out. People are running away. Come on, guys. Can you please make your way over here? They're going back for the guard tower. Eight points per unit. So we're actually a little better than the crown, isn't it? So we'll see. These guys haven't had any damage. Oh, there's a little bit of damage. Ooh, it seems like our guys are going to go down in flames over here. We will win this battle? Really? That's quite interesting. That other squad should have been here quicker. Doesn't look like we're going to win this battle. I don't think this thing is actually fighting, is it? Oh! You guys are... No! Unless you guys get here and get here quickly. Can I actually... No, you, you do your own thing here, right? Just keep surviving, buddy. You're almost there. Excellent. Reinforcements has arrived. Oh, my goodness. We've beat them. Victory! Excellent. And there's some money coming in as well. Excellent. There we go. I love the uh, the humor in this guy. It's really good. Congratulations, Presidente. We trust you uh, to guide us now. We know that you will be fair and just and that you will never use your power for your own profit or advantage. The people sing in the streets that you will be the fairest Presidente of them all. Of course. There we go. We win the game. Look at that island. It's a pristine paradise.
Absolutely. Lots of adventure. Let's get into it. What's going on? <clears throat> Nobody doubted that you would succeed, President. Least of all your loyal penultimo. But seeing your scale, uh, but seeing you scale the dizzy heights of the accomplishment is enough to make me swoon. If only this were a game, I would wish for some kind of endless mode so that you could go on um, and for and on forever. But alas, this is merely real life. Um, oh, so we actually stopped the mission here. Really? Or we continue playing? Hmm. Well, anyway, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cut in this episode. I know it's a little bit shorter than normal. Um, and in the next episode, we will continue with uh, the next mission. Thank you so much for watching. And if you've liked it, hit that button. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.